Hello all and welcome to another car boot video and episode 4 of the Late Booter. So just in case you're new to what the Late Booter is, instead of going to the boot sale nice and early like everybody does to try and beat everybody else to all the good stuff, I instead turn up a few hours late to it opening and still hope to find something interesting, something that I might be able to resell for a little bit of profit or something I might be able to trade into CEX or even something I may even add to the collection, which actually happened last week. I bought a 50p sports tart for the Xbox 360, which went into the collection. CEX sell that for eight quid, and they would have given me trading for four. So it can happen. It can still be worthwhile going late. So that's the idea and the premise of these videos. Also, I do set myself a little rule in these videos, and that is quite simply, you will always see a pickup because I must leave with something. I can't go there and have a total bust. I have to leave with something. So that's the only little rule I set. So I'm about half an hour's walk away now, and when I get there, I, it'll have been open for nearly three hours. So fingers crossed we can find something that slips into one of those categories. If not, I will definitely be finding something to leave with. So yep, let's keep strolling, get to that booter. Okay, so done at the boot sale for the day. And I think it's the busiest it's been since I've started going to it. There were a lot more sellers there than previously. So with regards to stuff that I left behind, at the very first stall, you may have noticed they had a couple of Cuphead figures. They were Funkos. I did ask how much, and he wanted a five reach for them. Now, I don't know a lot about Funkos. I know some are quite pricey, but just for a couple of figures that I thought looked quite cool, I wasn't going to pay a five each for, so left those behind. Also had a Street Fighter comic. I think he wanted 50p for it. 
but I'm never going to read it, so I just left that behind too. There was another store which just had a copy of FIFA 14 on the PS4. Don't need to explain why I'm leaving that behind. And then also in the footage, you'll have seen a PlayStation 1 which was on the floor. Didn't even ask how much. It looked a bit grim, so yeah, leaving that behind all day long. Also went to another store. You'll have seen the footage kind of just stopped there because obviously there's a lot of green cases. Original Xbox games, some 360 games as well. But they must have been caught up in another boot sale when it was raining because they were all water damaged and pretty nasty condition. Also, they were actually at a previous boot sale that I've been to as well because one of the titles was a little bit quirky and caught my eye. And I remember checking the disc then and it had a nasty scratch on it so and that game is still there so yeah not going to touch any of those with a barge pole apart from that there's a couple of other boxes of dvds that i rummaged through that had the odd game in it and they was always battered beaten up common titles so left them behind so did leave with a few items and as usual they're gonna have to find somewhere to plonk me bag down and show you what i picked up because my bag weighs a ton and you'll see why in a second so yeah let's find somewhere to plop me bag down and show you what i picked up at today's booter okay so pickups from the booter you'll have seen me approach one stall and pick up this turtles figure it is a funko i asked how much for the figure and she said 50p so i grabbed that all day long i love the turtle so that'll go on display and i'm pretty sure even for 50p that would even have some resale value but i will be keeping that You'll have also seen the footage cut out at another store where I spy this WrestleMania DVD on the floor. Also asked her how much for that. Bit of a wrestling fan. She said two quid. She weren't shifting on the price. All three discs are in there and in great condition. So two quid is what CX will give you for trade in for it. But I will probably be keeping this. As I say, bit of a wrestling fan. It's got the Hell in a Cell match where uh, Shane jumps off the cell and ends up going through the table as well, which is pretty of a bit of an oh my god moment. So yeah, I'll be keeping that even though I paid what CX will take in for trade for it. And then finally, I went through a box of DVDs on the floor and I saw this horror movie dvd in there and i thought that looks cool i'll give that a watch only wanted 50p for all of our dvds so i absolutely snapped that up and i'll give that a good watch but what developed from there was quite interesting and is why my bag weighs a ton why which i've just mentioned in my what i left behind section so i got chatting to the lady she says oh, i've got a bag of disc only dvds over there if you have a look for, through those you may find a few horror films but what i ended up leaving with was the entire bag and my bag is absolutely rammed full of love film disc only dvds because she, she turned around and said to me after having a chat with her for quite a while uh, she said you know what i really don't want to take them home you can have them you can take them and i, I had a chat with her what a lovely lady she was so i just said you know i can't just leave with them for nothing and i gave her what i had in my pocket which was two pounds something so yeah for two pounds something i've got all these love film disc only dvds i'll have a good sort through these later find all the horror ones which is what i was trying to do to start with and to be honest with you i'll probably just give a load of these away I'll, i might even take them into work dump them on the table to work and say here you go lads sort these sort through these help yourself because that is just an absolute steal for two quid for all of these. I don't know how many there are. I'll go home and have a count up and I'll insert the figure here of how many there are in when I edit this later. So the figure on screen is how many discs there are in here now. So with that, and after last week of nearly not going and finding an amazing stack of DS games, I am going to do the walk to the charity shop. I am also going to stop off at the McDonald's on the way for a milkshake, which has become custom to my little journeys when I go to that cherry shop and yeah let's grab a milkshake and get get to that cherry shop I put this bag back on my back that weighs a ton so yep off to the cherry shop let's get walking traditional halfway mark strawberry milkshake from McDonald's in hand and the comments section for the last two videos in support for my favorite flavor hasn't let me down strawberry is in a clear lead with six votes now I thought chocolate would be second but it's only third with just a solitary vote banana has taken the second spot with three votes and vanilla's got none trying to claim that it exists i think and saying help help vote for me but clear winner so far with six votes feel free to add to the voting if you really want in the comment section below but uh it's time to drink this bad boy up get to that charity shop and uh hopefully there's a nice surprise again but you know does lightning strike twice let's find out
and done in the charity shop. Now, Lightning it didn't really strike twice with regards to games, but we did have a good score there, and it was worth the walk again in the end. Now, with regards to game, you've always got to assume they're 50p each. You know, I got lucky with the DS games, certain member of staff that just charges all media as if they were DVDs, and obviously I got those DS games, basically seven of them for a quid. So I picked up a couple of games at 50p each. I did pick up Disney's cast for the PS2, which you may have seen in the footage, but you know, always check for discs and the quality of the discs disc weren't even in there so obviously that's just an empty box that's got put back down just see a couple of fifas and football games on the ps2 so obviously not going to pick those up left an nhl game behind for the ps3 and then didn't see it in the footage but on the very very bottom shelf there were some ps4 games on their side but there was fifas 15 16 and 17 so left those behind did pick up two games you'll have seen them both appear in the footage and the two games are seen it's a box office smash for the 360 yeah it's only a 50p game in cx however i am going to start picking up all the cheapies if they've got manuals and they're in good nick and that's exactly what that is i've got to get these cheap ones done at some point so i'm going to keep picking them up from now onwards if i see them and then heavy rain absolutely minty copy of heavy rain cx will actually give you trade of a quid for this and they sell it for 250 and obviously i picked it up for 50p so i could double my money and trade but it's a ps3 exclusive and when it comes to games for the ps3 and getting them i'm only really interested in the exclusives where the score comes from is this box set peter case phoenix knights the complete first and second series now i actually nearly missed this i started watching my footage back before i walked to the station to do this little bit of part of the video and i saw it right at the very end and i thought how could you miss that because this has got a £9 trading at CEX for in-store credit, £6 for cash, and they sell it for £18. I'm a bit torn because I've seen both of these, but I don't own them, and they are as funny as. Honestly, really enjoy them. So I will probably uh, begrudgingly trade it in, though, but that is where the score comes, and that is where the walk has been worth it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that does bring me to the end of this car boot day out. And as I say, this heavy bag weighs a fucking ton. So we're going to go through those DVDs when I get home. Have a lot of fun doing that. But for now, thank you very much for watching. And as always, please do take care.